pull these longbow hunters out, start firing with all of our archers onto the unit that is coming out of this gate. And he pulled through us, dirty cheater. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go over this in the video as well, but some of our recordings, again, we had some issues with my mic, and I'm sorry. So, I had to start from scratch again, because I thought I had a ton of recordings that I was going to be able to use. Some of them had my music in the background, some of them weren't recording my voice very well again. I'm sorry, can't use them. Had to re-record, and believe me, it sucks for me too, because that was like three days worth of recording and I really should have checked in between uh, but we got another odd tactic for you um, and we'll just kind of get into that and let you know how the battle went okay so the battle for that one uh, it was okay um, like the battle itself was kind of fun it was kind of close for a bit there but the tactic, obviously, it, it worked. It always seems to work. I hardly ever lose with the tactic that I, we were using in that one. Um, but the guy was cheating. He took six range units, and he still lost. And I think he took six range units because he was versing Swaby, so he assumes I can just shred the crap out of his units. Either that or he was trying something funky. I'm not sure, but he didn't follow the rules regardless. Uh, at least he didn't spam out artillery. He, I don't even think he took an artillery piece, but... You know what? That's not my problem. That's his problem for not taking it. Uh, but it was a interesting fight. He also did a pull through on me, a really hard pull through with his uh, general. But at that point, the game was already lost for him, so I don't think he was uh, coming out with the win there. But it was uh, still a pretty fun fight, even though he was cheating hard throughout most of it. Um, and the tactic works. We got 200 kills, I think, on uh, most of our spear units, so... Give it a give it a look see, and you could obviously adjust this strategy uh, to maybe not just use the spear units, but uh, just make it so you could afford more sword masters, uh, since they have higher armor, and have some spear wall silver tier to silver two to compensate uh, for not having a little bit of extra sword masters because sword masters are so expensive. Uh, maybe like three spear wall and three sword masters or two sword masters for spear wall something like that uh, i think you could balance it out to the point where you could get the uh, bow woman in there uh, and a lot of that stuff is a uh, dlc content but we'll get right into the video sorry i keep dragging on all right so we thought we had a stockpile of videos um apparently i mic hadn't been picking up my voice again so we edited the mic again and for some reason it keeps reverting back to the original settings I had it at. Uh, hopefully we can uh, get it to stay working this time and not revert back. Let, let this guy know, one, two, four, rules. And we're trying out an odd tactic here of using spear wall as our main attacking force. The reason we do this, we got high melee defense, we've got high armor for Swaby, and we've got the club levy to make up for pretty much everything else. This guy's going to be super confused as to what's going on, because I'm sure he's checking out the army roster right now uh, to see what we're going to be doing. Either that or he's actually going to go swaby, but I highly doubt it. Now, the spear wall does cost about a thousand upgraded silver chevron 2. Silver chevron 2 is about the point where you can start taking on the thorax. The reason why it's okay to spend that thousand, I keep hearing this from everybody. Well, that's a lot of money. Well, you could spend that somewhere else. There's only like two units in Swaby's army that have enough armor to tank any arrow shots. That's the Swordmasters, and that's the spear wall. You could adjust the strat so you could have like three Swordmasters and three spear wall, and that'll kind of even it out. But for now, we're going to be doing the odd strat, and we're going to be doing the uh, spear wall only. Um, the reason we're doing this is because it's the only scenario where I can take all 20 guys, have a ballista, and have four archers. Every other scenario that I've tried out so far, 
oh, specifically with Swordmaster only, uh, you can't really balance it out. You'd end up with like two empty slots here, and these guys wouldn't be tiered up at all. And since they are tiered up, they have a morale of 35. That means if you stick a general next to them, they'll be at 40, so they'll sit in that fight for a while. So far, I think I've only lost once with this, and it was a team match. I haven't really tried too many solo matches with it, but I'm guessing it's going to uh, work just fine for us. Wow, more than guessing. Well, this guy uh, readies up here pretty quick, though. We could change up the map. What map are we on? And what size? Make sure this is all set up right. All right, everything seems good. We are doing the galley strat since these guys only have 125 range. So I think we're all good. The club that is tier three are only cost 300 gold, by the way. Uh, for a decent melee troop, for it to only cost 300, that's that's very nice. And the main reason the club levy are decent is they have that anti-infantry buff. All right, Let's see what we can do here. Now. We want to have it so that their arrow fire has to come basically straight at us. So, and straight at us the entire time, I would say. I think we played on this map before. I'm just going to double check my sound again, make sure we're still uh, golden there. It seems like it. Alright. Now, this map was probably not the best choice of maps if we wanted to have them fire straight at us the entire time. But, we'll figure it out. Yeah, gonna suck. Um, so I guess we will have to hit this front one. That means we either have to march up this way, or we have to go straight in from here and take side shots from up here. So either way, we're going to be getting hit in the side. I don't think there's much we can do about that, other than to uh, turn and face them at some point. Now, if we can force them to attack our face most of the time, that'd be great, at least like from the start. So I think we're going to hit and break open right here with the uh, Ballista. We'll even stick the ballista up here. Hopefully it will get a better shot. I'm not sure how that... Oof. May not be such a good idea. We might have to burn down the gate. Or the, the ballista if we stuck it up there. We'll stick it down here instead. Because I don't really feel like having to walk all the way around with our uh, siege towers. Or have to walk back with our archers, so... So they are just barely kind of covering. Hopefully that'll be enough. If not, we will adjust it. Just flamed. Make sure our archers are on guard mode. I gotta turn down the uh, Rome 2 in-game volume because it is blasting. Alright, how's that? Yeah, that's a lot better. <clears throat> All right. And set these guys up sideways. And set these ones up sideways. And we'll go ahead and dismount everything, because I'm not even gonna play around with which what needs to be in what yet. Or, well, I am toying around with that, but I'm not gonna try to figure it out. <clears throat> That's already mounted. And there we go, the club levy in there. This one will be supporting this guy as he goes up to the wall. And these two other club levy will be hanging out at either side, ready to take on either the first charge or maybe a couple of shots from the uh, artillery pieces. Whatever, doesn't matter. They're kind of cannon fodder. Get to our uh, spear wall all lined up. This guy seems to be anxious, ready to go. And... 
Last couple things here. There we go. And our general. Alright, we are all set. Let's go. What do we got going on here? Does he got anything? Oh, we forgot to turn off auto fire. And stuck his archers on the wall. What are these? Are these archers or slingers? These are slingers. So he might be doing a, a sally out tactic, which is what I do, so. Oh, I'll have to see, I guess. Oof, that didn't hit at all. Um, maybe we should just shoot the ground. You're gonna shoot right over, this is probably a better bet. Now, I don't see an artillery piece, so we are free to move around. We're gonna go ahead and start inching things up. Over here, we'll throw these guys all the way to the right. In fact, we could go all the way over here, just so we can turn, use it like a boat. That's how you use these, kinda. You gotta sail zigzag so you don't take face shots. Um, swing over to the right here with this one, swing over to the left. But I think we can only go over to here, so... And we'll stick these guys on either side of the center. Probably the other way around. Oof, we our own units there. Oops. Well, we are not getting any damage on that. We might be fighting solely for the gate. This is gonna suck. We'll start moving the spears up. And he's going to waste his slinger ammo on our towers. We can go ahead and halt here with pretty much everything. Um, I want to let me halt. We got selected that it won't let me halt. Levy. Club Levy. Get Ready. This club levy might die. For all the slinger ammo, I'll take it. Ooh, finally getting some damage in there. It's at 22%. We'd have to hit like pretty much every single shot from here on out though if we were gonna bust through there. Um, looks like this guy might be cheating. Yeah, he's cheating. It's not going to matter that he's cheating because he's wasting all his ammo, but...
90%, and we got like one more volley, I think, so we might still bust through there. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, though. I might post this one anyways, even though this guy is doing something kind of dumb. Um, wasting all his ammo. Because I'm, uh, running out of videos to post, really. because uh, they all keep screwing up on me, so... Or we get fights like this, where it's just... Almost shameful. Now we want to make sure we're coming in at like an angle, kind of, so like we can't get hit in the back. Maybe even like this. Can't get hit in the back or the, uh, front side there. Same thing on this side, so we're gonna try to come in at this kind of an angle. So they can't hit us in the rear or the front. And where is that wounded levy? And yeah, we'll go and stick him back on there and start taking that uh, that gate there. he got here. Green infantry. Hoplites. Hoplites. Warriors ready. Yeah, now he's using flame ammo. Oh wow, he might take out one of our towers. In fact, he will take out one of our towers. We'll just dismount that. Double on guard mode, make sure we're blocking off this front gate without uh, getting ourselves in too bad of a spot there. Start moving up these longbows. End of need a moving up at slight angle. There we go. These ones I think will move up to about there. These guys, we're gonna remount that equipment with another set. Throw in a. Another set of club levy ready to defend that gate. What we got here late hop lights. This guy spammed archers because he knew we were going uh, swaby. And Swaby is really weak to archers, but uh, I think with our strat, it's gonna kind of backfire on him. How do we? Oh, he must have left those on the wall when we broke it. Dang, that sucks to be that guy. We'll start inching up everything else now. Probably blown through so much ammo, it really doesn't matter what we have left over here. We'll just throw everything up. Go ahead and remount that. He's not gonna destroy it completely. And we'll remount these two side areas since he has just a bunch of archers sitting on it. Warriors! Warriors off 
Are you routing already? You barely lost anybody. He's got some African pikemen sitting in there. Warriors ready! Ready for battle! Back! To your position! Warriors move out! Move the tower! And we'll just run straight in, regardless of whether it'll kill us or not there. Fearless warriors! Club Levy! Rawr! Pikes aren't even down. There we go, now they are down. We really need to neutralize that gate. Missile warriors! Orders! Hurrah! All right, hundred and something kills. Uh, some of these guys still have some per uh, plenty of ammo left. Um, so he didn't waste all of his ammo. He's not as much as I thought he was going to. Uh, the unless he probably blew a lot of it on. Uh, Artillery. Not the artillery, the siege equipment. Sons of Woden! Ready! Kill! Kill! Ready! Let's go! And is he gonna pull through? We'll have to see. Warriors! Levy! Start! Warriors! We are Looks like he dark. might not pull through on us. Hmm. Not expecting him not to. And he moved over some slingers onto this side. They should be pretty close to out ammo. Spearmen ready for battle. Longbow hunters. Fearless warriors. Let's go. Get ready. Ready. Really didn't think we were going to have to burn down these towers, but at this point we are losing so many men to them that we're just going to have to. Keep watch. All right. 
This guy should be pretty close to out of ammo. Um, so that means whatever he has left should just be able to get pelted down by our archers. Unless he has another, like, six archers sitting back there. He's a dirty cheater, but... I'm pretty sure I counted five archer units, or missile units. This unit is winded, we'll have to bring up our general. Spearmen! Make them bleed! Warriors! Ready! Keep watch! Tremble before us! Attack for Germania! Spears! Noble riders! Hit them with a second wind. And they're down to half, so we'll stick them in shield wall as well. Spot on with his like micro on his archers. We will pierce their hearts. Forward. Move out. I can he sees one of our things pop up, he shoots it down. You have to give him that. Might be a dirty cheater, but he is really good at his micro. Fifty kills with those archers. They should be going down pretty quick here. There we go. And our general should be able to hit this club levy with a second wind. Hopefully, letting them continue the fight here and getting some kills. Don't you dare go through that gate. Oh, you dumbass. Move it. Well, if you're gonna go through, you might as well really go through. Apparently it didn't trigger the gate though. Mount that one because we seem to be watching that one last time. We'll come in from this side, shoot the African pikeman, drop this one again, shoot the African pikeman. here. Longbow hunters! Forward! Long 
The balance of power is tipping in our favor at this point, though. Unit, even though Shaken is still holding out. And we should try to get some side shots over here. Probably finish this unit off just to make sure it's gone. Got here, these slingers are pretty much gone. Go ahead and route the center. And we've got a noble cab coming our way. We got here some more archers without any kills, so it could definitely get us there. Where did these spearmen think they're going? Slingers. Not sure why you thought that was a good idea. And you're just going to glob up the rest of your troops, and I think I have secured the win. It was a lot closer match than I thought it was going to be, though. You have to give the guy credit there as well, because um, I thought I was going to have that one hands down. It was really close, even though you are a dirty cheater for taking five missile units. At least I believe so. I could be eating my words here, and uh, maybe, maybe you aren't. We gotta definitely get in there and take out those uh, African pike. We're gonna pull out our main, or our biggest line there. Make sure the rest of them are facing them and in shield wall. Where are the pikemen? They are in there somewhere. There we go. Every archer we have, target those African pikemen. That's why, probably why he's globbing up so much now. Go ahead and try to fire our last artillery piece right in the center of that. Some good hits there. And make sure we use up the rest of our ammo on that pike unit. Now I haven't seen his general in a while. Wondering if he went back inside. Hope he did. Spearmen ready for battle. Back 
And that pike unit is gone. Go ahead and halt our guys, save the rest of our ammo just in case he is for whatever reason taking another pike unit. Go ahead and stick this guy right here. And I think we can probably safely throw up this club levy. Um, well, you can pretty much safely do whatever you want at this point. Dallas power is tipped ridiculously far in our favor. This unit can go ahead and get in shield screen. Maybe even require a second wind here, because he is been in combat for quite a while. 141 kills on him. Dang. Nice. I mean, some of these guys I think have been taking out weaker targets, but still, that's, that's pretty dang nice. What do we got here? We got them completely enveloped, and on this side, we aren't doing so hot, but I mean, we can... Maybe getting shield screen here. And we might have to halt it if they start pulling through, so... Oh, they seem to be doing fine. Shield screen right there at a 133 armor, or melee defense, so... They're gonna be doing work. I think we'll start getting some side shots on these guys. Maybe even back up here. Over here we'll charge the club levy in. Here comes his gen. We'll go ahead and counter charge that. And then have the spearmen come in for a backup unit. Over here we've got our longbow hunters. Might as well pull them off to the side. Make sure these guys are on auto fire. And we'll hit them with a battle rhythm. Make sure we uh, ungroup this unit. Stick them right here and they should throw their pila off. Pull these longbow hunters out. Start firing with all of our archers onto the unit that is coming out of this gate. And he pulled through us. Dirty cheater. So. We'll be taking all of our archers and targeting that general now. He is going to cheat his way into victory, maybe. I don't think it's going to be a victory either way, but not for him. Even if he were to route all of our archers here, since most of them are out of ammo at this point. Unless he has a bunch of pikes left. And he might even have a mass route on his hands here in a second. His general is now dead. And there goes another unit, and I think if he has a pike unit left, we can still take that out with everything we have left. We might as well turn off Auto fire on all these units. Get running. Unsure if our general's still alive though, since all that. And make sure that these guys are on group so we can actually uh, get in there. Alright, get this gate neutralized, get ready to move in with the row what's left of our troops. And he either quit or we got a route because we charged his archers, but that was a GG right there. I think either way, he was cheating. Yep, definitely cheating. He took six range units.
So that's the two archers, two slingers, and then two Libyan peltas. The two Libyan peltas, I think, were just burning down my towers. It's kind of an interesting thing to do uh, with the way he was doing it, uh, especially since we didn't have as many towers. But uh, yeah, not that great of a player in the end. He did some good moves, though, but the whole pulling through with his general there in the end definitely sealed the deal for him being a... Uh, really either a new player or um, just, I don't know, just a flat-out cheater. But his pikes didn't perform well at all. They got focused down. He stuck them in the front, I think, far too early. And uh, his army comp in general, I'm just not a huge fan of. I think he should have definitely taken either more Libyan infantry or the Iberian swordsmen. Uh, I would have definitely taken more Iberian Swordsman rather than taking the Libyan Peltist, especially since it wouldn't be cheating. Um, I think he was taking the Libyan Peltist specifically for burning down towers. Maybe the Armor Pen causes, might cause more damage to uh, Armored Towers. Maybe that was the idea. But in any case, he was cheating. Didn't do too bad on kills. Um, I think he could have probably gotten to 17, probably, if he wasn't burning down my towers instead. But... Uh, Still kind of a fun game. The tactic obviously worked. We got 200 kills on just about every spear unit here. Love Levy kind of got slaughtered, but that was to be expected. And our archers performed fairly well. So that's the strat for you guys. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.